guys, it's Jen and welcome back to my channel. So in today's tutorial, I will be teaching you this look here. I don't even know what to call it because I don't have a name for it. I kind of just improvised and did whatever, but I am using some new products to create this look. And before we get straight into it, make sure you give me a thumbs up and also subscribe. So the first product I'm going to start off with is this one here. It is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer and this primer has been quite a big hype but apparently it's meant to be a really nice silky primer and it makes your foundation look even nicer. So I'm going to try this out today. It comes with this little, I don't know, disc and you're actually meant to use this to scoop out some of the product. So you're meant to scoop the product and finish at that line. So don't go any higher or else you'll have too much product. Okay. Oh wow, it's very um, pasty. Let's start off with the forehead. Okay, I feel like I have a lot on one hand. Some, whoa, is that a little bit of a white cast? It feels quite thick on the skin and I've only used half of it. I've still got the other half, but I feel like I don't need it because I'm scared it's just gonna be too much. And apparently you can put this as a lip primer as well and also I think on the eyelids so I'm going to use it as a primer for my eyelids and a bit on my lips okay I have like that much left but I'm not going to use it I just feel like it's going to be too much well my lips look really I look really pale I'm going to rub it off because I really don't like how it looks maybe I'll put it on before I apply lipstick okay so there is no more white cast it's gone it is definitely giving me this really like soft focus blurry effect which is a good thing it's like kind of making my blemishes not as noticeable so since I've already applied the primer to the eyes we don't need anything else and we can move on to applying eyeshadow so I am going in with the soft glam palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills this isn't actually mine it's my cousin's because I was really contemplating on getting this palette not because it's not good or anything it's just because I have so many palettes which are similar to these as you can see it has all the beautiful warm brown tones and just some really nice shimmery shades you've got like a bronzy one a gold one and then kind of like a champagne -y shade as well so the first shade I'm going to use is burnt orange and I'm pretty much going to apply this all over the lid as like a base color I don't know if it's the primer or something that's kind of making the eyeshadow really nice and pigmented. Like I didn't really need to apply a lot to get that shade to really show up. I'm going to go into the shade Sienna next with the same big fluffy brush, focusing this more on the edges and then slowly kind of swishing it in. I'm going to go in with another clean fluffy brush just to diffuse the shade so it's not as harsh. So next I'm gonna go into my MAC 217 blending brush and I'm going to go into the shade Mulberry, which is kind of like a nice dark deep red. And I'm gonna focus this more on the edges. I'm gonna bring it up a little. And then just use the same fluffy brush just to blend. Okay, so that's pretty much the mattes done. I'm just going to go into a shimmer. First off, I'm just going to wet my brush just so I can make the eyeshadow a little bit more pigmented. So I'm using the model's own makeup fixing spray. And this one here is enriched with coconut water and aloe vera. So I'm going to be grabbing the shade Sultry, which is like a pinkish brown shimmery shade. And it is a little bit darker than the other shades. So what I'm gonna do next is just grab a baby wipe and just clean up my under eye and also sharpen up the edge. You know what guys, I feel like I wanna kind of darken it up a little. So I'm gonna go back into the Soft Glam palette and pick up some of Noir, which is this beautiful black matte eyeshadow and add this to the corners. And I'm kind of doing this in like a little C shape. 
slowly kind of bring the shade up a little. And then get that blending brush again just to kind of diffuse everything. And when I'm blending, I like to hold the actual brush kind of around here. So if I hold it closer, it's going to give me more control, but I kind of want it to be a little bit like flimsy when I'm blending. So it's a little bit more softer. I haven't used one of these in so long because I either use like a gel eyeliner with an angled brush or I'll use a felt tip pen eyeliner. But this is like old school. This one is from Australis and it is called Make Me Matte Liquid Eyeliner. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean up the wing a little because it's not as sharp as I would like. So I'm just going to go in with a bit of concealer. So now I'm going to apply some lashes on and I'm using the Model Rock lashes in Malrose and they're a really nice big fluffy kind of style. So I'm going to do this off camera and for foundation, keeping it real simple, I'm using the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. So I'm actually going to mix two shades together. So I'm mixing Stromboli and Cera Cruz. So I've just blended the foundation into my skin. Next is concealer and for concealer, also using another NARS product and this one here is the NARS Creamy concealer in custard just to kind of spot conceal I'm using the Mac pro conceal and correct palette in medium and this comes with like pretty much all different shades I'm just gonna mix a few and just cover where I need to have that extra coverage trusty old Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I'm just going to apply this under the eyes and I'm just kind of tapping back and forth just to kind of blend out that translucent powder and then whatever's left just kind of bring it down a little. So for the rest of the face I'm just going to set it with a powder and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade Medium. I love this brush. This is the e.l.f. blush brush. I think it's under $10 and it's honestly the best brush for blush and also setting your face. I'm just going to apply some lip balm on and I just got this one here. It is by Tatcha and this one is called the Camellia Gold Spun Lip Balm and it does have these beautiful gold specks in it. And I know it is a little bit bougie, a little bit, you know, like, oh, gold specs, you really need that. But it's just so pretty and so luxurious. So I'm going to finish off the under eyes before we kind of finish off the face. Let's go into Sienna first. And I'm just applying this under the eyes and smoking this out. I find that sometimes when I do smoky looks, I don't actually put enough smokiness on the bottom. Sometimes the top looks too heavy and then it just doesn't balance. So I am kind of bringing it a little bit lower than I usually would. Next, I'm going to go into Mulberry. So these are pretty much the same shades that I did use on my eyelids as well. And I'm just going to focus this more on the edge just to darken it a little. That's pretty much the smokiness done underneath the eyes. I'm going to go in with an eyeliner and this is like a brown shimmery eyeliner. This is by a Korean brand. This one here is called the Momo Waterproof Gel Eyeliner, but it is a really beautiful kind of dark brown shimmery kind of shade. Pretty much going to apply this to the waterline. And then for mascara, it's not really a new mascara. I have used this quite a bit, but it's something that I do love. Um, it is by Iconic London and it's just called mascara pretty much. So next up, I'm going to go into this really amazing palette. This is the Ofra Pro palette and it's called the on the glow palette so it has highlighters and bronzers in it so first off i'm going to go into the california dream triangle little palette within the palette so there is like a shimmery one and then you have like a matte bronzer and then you have the blush but i'm just going to use like the dark bronzy shade so i'm also going to contour my nose with that same shade so for blush, I'm going to actually mix the pink and the shimmery bronzer color together just to see what happens. 
So I'm going to go into Blissful instead, which is a little more on the champagne side. It has like a pinkish tone to it, but it's still super blinding. Oh god, look at that guys. I probably put way too much, but oh well. What's done is done. With a smaller brush, I'm just going to apply a little bit of this to the inner corner of my eyes just for that nice pop of colour. And this is the Smudge Brush by Sigma and it's in the E21. Also going to apply this on my brow bone. So this is just like subtle underneath just underneath and then we're going to put on some lipstick woohoo this is a very interesting one i'm not going to use a lip liner for this i just want to see how this goes alone this one here is by crayola in the shade rose so it's just i think it's just like a nice kind of pinkish shade we'll see how it goes okay so i was not filming and i've already applied the lipstick but it was very very creamy um i'm just gonna clean it up a little and i didn't use a liner i just used the lipstick it is really bright as well but hopefully it will work with this look last but not least setting spray so this one is the model's own makeup fixing spray so i'm going to use this also have a piece of paper or an envelope ready just to kind of fan yourself to really make it dry. Okay, I'm just going to fix my hair and I'll be right back. So I'm back with my hair just, I don't know, kind of tucked behind my ears. It's just straight today. Nothing fancy. But this is the finished results, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And please make sure you give me a thumbs up and also subscribe. And I'll see you very soon.